All right, well, it's qualifying at Monaco, which is going to be very key for us. We'll uh, see what we can do. We don't have any new updates or anything, so just uh, trying to qualify our best, and uh, hopefully we'll get to Q3. don't see why we wouldn't, but uh, we'll jump back in when I need to. Sending both drivers out early. We will try to do two runs here and hopefully be able to get pull at least. So at the moment you have P1. And uh, Carlos is able to put in a good run as well. All right, second run getting ready to go and Red Bulls have not been able to beat Charles. Signs with that ERS issue is uh, getting slowed down. Charles goes, uh, well, he doesn't go quicker on his second run, so now it's up to the Red Bulls to ruin everything. And uh, where are they at on track? Perez comes around. He does not go better. And Verstappen coming through. Speed that up around the final turn, and Verstappen, is he going to ruin everything like he does all the time in real life? At the line, no, no one improves. So we've got pole and fourth, and I think we're just going to nurse that ERS issue. All right, so this is the strategy. Um, we're gonna hopefully use signs as a roadblock because he's got that ERS issue. And we're gonna hopefully pull out in the first 30 laps enough with Charles and be able to pit and not get into a lot of traffic when we do pit. That's the plan, um, but Monaco on this game is not quite as hard to pass as in real life, so. We'll see what they can do. The streets of Monte Carlo are ready as the drivers... It's time for one of the most exciting races in the world. This is the Monaco Grand Prix. And it's lights and immediately out. Immediately, we're going to pop we over here and always defend and always overtake and make him be as aggressive of a driver as we can. Charles, we are going to go high overtake but hopefully he doesn't have to do that fight off max here should be able to down the hill clear him and we do all right you know he gets back to the inside and actually that's Perez I thought it was max down through the tunnel they're still side by side as I said Monaco is a little easier to do passing here in the game than real life and there we go. We've got him cleared. Let's just get the hell away from him. We are a little heavy on fuel, but I wanted to be able to push really hard. The good news is Carlos is doing exactly what he should be doing. We've got him light on fuel because we are going to start backing things up as well. Um, he is already two seconds behind, and he is our roadblock that we've got to have. So hopefully he can defend well and uh, is able to just work around the track and not get past here. I, I mean, right now he's on hards, but yeah, he wasn't able to defend there. So that releases Alonso, but it did give us a three second gap already. I don't want to use the battery because that is where our issue is, but it looks like uh, this is not going to work out quite like we wanted. It was worth the shot though, but he's on hards, he'll be going long. We're going to go ahead and go standard there. Charles pulling away and we need to back him down a bit on we should slow down. everything Stop here. It. And ERS battle assist, he is one and a half seconds out already though. And being able to push the engine and have clean track is gonna help us out. Carlos back here, probably gonna get passed again into turn one. I guess let's go full deploy and hope this doesn't just explode on us.
Good news is Alonzo has not really made up much ground. And the rest of the field is now eight and a half seconds. Science is eight and a half seconds off the lead. We need to uh, back the field up to about 20 seconds, and it looks like he's doing all right now. So, uh, tire wise, he is the only one on hards. Hopefully, we can just go really long with him and uh, just make it all work. But Leclerc is the only one on softs at the front. So, yeah, this is going to be interesting if we can pull it off. Perez has been able to push back up as we are cooling the tires a little bit. But, uh, yeah, we'll jump ahead and see where this parade takes us. We are on lap 10, and Carlos still doing what he needs to do. 7.8 seconds behind the car in front, and 26 seconds behind the leader. That is great for us. So, everyone is just jammed behind him. They can't do anything about it. It is working out as I designed, other than Alonzo and Hulkenberg getting through. Haas is having a good day with 5th and ninth right now. Uh, Alpine not in the right area, so they are not going to get the points, and Russell is out of the points right now as well. So that is lap 10. Charles, five and a half seconds ahead. Uh, those softs are working out, and uh, we're going to kind of manage this one. We will be getting to traffic, though, as signs backs everyone up. So you can see on the map how far behind they are. And uh, this is Monaco. Lap 20, and Stroll and Hamilton were able to get around signs. And uh, Charles is still pulling out. We've got a massive gap. As you can see, Charles, even though those guys got around him, you know, they have a long ways to go to even get in range for when we pit. Looks like Kevin has got around Carlos as well, so he is starting to struggle. Might have him push a little bit harder, get those tires up to temp and try to stay in the points but uh yeah we are we're on track we should be pitting in 10 laps lap 30 is our mark and throw on the hards and go to the end from there so nothing else has happened and jump ahead all right, we are coming okay. into the pits right now as we had Russell right behind us. Copy. Charles in the pits. Get a good clean stop, put on the hards, go to the race end, and a very long stop. That is not good. Yeah, copy. Sorry about that. Lose it two seconds the right there. Line. Luckily, we had it to work with, but uh, we can't be having that too much, and that is the second bad pit stop in a while. And actually, Max and Perez get around us, and they are on the hards as well. That pit stop, they undercut us, and... Well, this was looking really easy, and it is not going well now. Uh, I did not think they were going to undercut us, but they did. So that is on me. But uh, try to get this solved, get the tires up to temp, and hopefully just have more pace than them. But making that pass is going to be difficult. So um, we'll jump ahead to as we catch them. Well, the good news is we have caught them at least Perez, in just a few laps, six laps. And uh, now it's all about getting the pass done. Hopefully we can do that. We'll push it a little bit here. And Signs is still uh, just running along, trying to be in the way as much as possible. But he's only on 53%, so he's got a long ways to go still before we pit him. And if we happen to catch a virtual safety car or safety car at the right point, but not a single issue has happened on track. So um, 
Well, Perez has now caught Max as well, so this is going to be an interesting three-car battle. And uh, see what happens with it. We thought we were closing up, but now we're two seconds behind. So, um, yeah, I will come back when this battle starts up and try to close in. All right, well, lap 42, and we are struggling. We close in on Perez. We lose him. Max has pulled away, as Max does. And they're kind of just backing us up right now. Not much we can do with it there. Carlos is in a really bad spot because he is going to drop well out of the points, it looks like. And... Uh, Backing him up was good to clear out our early pit stop on the softs. But, uh, yeah, it just didn't work with the Red Bulls undercutting. And then, uh, yeah, it's just not working out for us. So I don't think we're going to be able to win this. Looks like the Red Bulls are probably going to go 1-2. And Carlos is probably not going to get any points. Carlos coming in now, putting on the mediums. Hopefully he's able to get out and not lose too much. Currently in eighth. But the pack is coming around, and now he starts dropping, and he's going to have to fight very hard in order to get three passes done. It's going to be very difficult. So um, he helped us. But maybe we didn't need to use him like that. So we need to rarely defend and always go after the passes. We've got the tires. We're going to push. We're going to push really hard with him. And uh, hopefully get back into at least one or two points. He could get up to six, but it's going to take a lot of passing to do. All right, well, here's the development. Perez has pit. He's on a two-stopper and has went to softs. So let's, let's play their game. And uh, you know what? Let's go to mediums. Let's do something different than them. Try to get this to work. This is going to help Carlos because he doesn't have to pit. We're able to get that call just in time. And uh, Alonzo, or no, Stroll had also pit. So um, we can possibly prevent getting undercut even more. But uh, yeah, I did not think we were going to do a two stopper, but since they're on it, we got to go on it. We're gonna come, oh, we nearly get hit there, and these are lap cars. We should be able to clear them. That's Alonzo getting around us, though. We're gonna have to make a pass, and he's gonna have to be very aggressive on this. We can go aggressive now, because we don't have to go very long, and we have uh, soft tires, uh, or medium tires instead of soft. I'm trying everything. Signs though, he is struggling to make passes, but, oh, what was that? I think that was a lap car getting out of the way. Just kind of checked everything up there. No lift off needed. Alonzo, one and a half ahead of us, but we're gonna push really hard here. 20 to go, and uh, well, it's more exciting than I thought it was gonna be, but um, I don't think we're gonna get anything but third, so. We'll come back a little bit later. All right, so we got around Alonzo. We have cleared him now. Question is, will the Red Bulls burn up their tires? Um, going mediums, we had to do something different than them. They're both on softs. We can push a little harder. It's gonna be interesting to see, but uh, at least we're up to third. Now we just need no mistakes. All right, 10 to go. Carlos is just stuck. Um, can't do anything. They are in a massive DRS train at Monaco, and he just can't do anything with it. 
So he has been stuck there complaining this whole time that he can't pass. Charles is closed up a bit. We're just managing the tire heat. And, uh, high speed. yeah, 10 to go. So it's uh, flying by with not a lot of excitement, but at least we've just dropped Alonzo massively. And uh, we also have fastest lap. So maybe an extra point, but... Constructors-wise, it's not going to do much since Carlos is only getting one point, most likely. All right, so a couple of developments here with about five to go. Carlos has jumped uh, Kevin. He's working on Hamilton. I also got Russell, who dropped back. Well, Botas, I think, uh, dropped back behind everyone as he was holding up the show. So he is right behind Hamilton, and as you can see, Charles is just behind Perez. So uh, we're trying to cool the tires off. We're going to make a final push here, just build up the battery, and we'll make a final push for these two spots right at the end. All right, we're going full attack mode, and we're doing it with both drivers. Hopefully this will work out. Charles closing in on Perez. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the helmet cam. That's going to give us a whole lot of shaking around here. Wish they smoothed out the looks just a little bit more, but we are already right on top of him. Nothing out of the tunnel. Don't think we're going to have much of a chance to do anything through the pool section, but... Maybe into the final turn. We've seen that a few times in uh, F2 and F3. Not sure these cars are small enough to make that work. But possibly into turn one. And if he gets that done, we will back down everything and try to hold on to the spot. So down the main straight, he's going to take a look here. He gets beside him and blasts past him. And Two laps to go. Beautiful. All right. Let's go neutral on the battery so we don't burn oh. it out. Carlos has gotten around Hamilton while that was going on. We'll go neutral there, balance there, and light on those because uh, he is getting close to the limit. But I also think he is a lap down. So he might only have to do uh, 77 laps. All right, just make sure that we didn't under manage this and um, just kind of balance the tires off and the fuel. We've got that. We're not going to close on max, but we've at least got second. Lap traffic is just getting absolutely nuts everywhere. Could slow us down two seconds instantly, so we got to be careful of that. But signs has cleared. He's 8.9 back, though, from Hulkenberg, who's having a heck of a race. Max is taking the white flag, and uh, that does mean that Carlos is still on the lead lap, I believe. So, so no, he is one lap down. So he's nearly two laps down. That is uh, pretty crazy, but at the moment, Perez not closing up and Hamilton not closing up. We're going to come away with a decent points haul. Max was able to get fastest lap because he can just turn it on whenever he wants to get that extra point if they let him. But a clean, no crash, no mistakes, Monaco Grand Prix. And uh, unfortunately, we allowed them to undercut us, and we weren't ready for the two-stopper. We couldn't stay out there with uh, the hards and try to hold them off. They would have just blasted past us. But I will take a second place and a seventh. And uh, yeah, we need to go replace that battery now in Carlos's car. Check it flat. There it is. Let's go take a look at the points. So Max adds 26 points to his total. We go 18 points and are closing in on Sergio. So that is good. Carlos only six points, but we kind of put him on the back foot there with the car. 
Constructor wise, we only gained 24, but that's more than everyone that we're actually racing, so that's a positive. We gained two on Aston. And uh, Mercedes has a bad day, Alpine has a bad day, and Haas has a great day with nine points, getting them up to 16. And still, Alpha Romeo, nothing. Zero points there, so. Um, move on to the next one. Thanks for watching.